Hello and welcome to this Bedlux Daylight Visualizer tutorial. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the different roof options available in the visualizer and I'll show you an example by adding a roof to the model I started in the previous video. So here we are, I've opened the file and now I need to select a roof type. By moving to the roof and ceiling tab, I can see the available options. So there are three possible roof types that can be modeled in the visualizer. A flat roof, a single slope roof, or a double slope roof. I can adjust the roof thickness or optionally add an overhang by inputting values in the menu below the floor plan view. Let's say that I want my building to have a flat roof. All I need to do is click on the flat roof button and it's automatically added to my building. Now let's experiment with the second option, the single slope roof. I need to select the wall which I want to maintain the original wall height. This could be either of the external walls and I can simply select and the model will update as you can see in the 3D view. In the menu below the floor plan view, there are a few settings that I can optionally adjust. These include the roof thickness, the slope angle, the addition of an overhang, and the addition of a ceiling. To create a ceiling, I simply need to select flat and it's automatically added to my model as you can see in the 3D view. The only adjustment I can make to the ceiling has to do with its height over the floor. If you wish to create a ceiling of a different size or shape, then you need to do that under the wall tab as a custom object. In this project, I actually want my building to have a double sloped roof, so I will move on to show you the next option. For this roof type, I need to draw the median line between the two roof slopes. You'll notice two red lines crossing the floor plan view. These run down the middle in each direction. In this case, I want to follow the horizontal red line, so I will draw my median right over it. And as you can see in the 3D view, the model has updated. Once you've placed the median line, there's no way to change it. So if for some reason you wish to have a different median, then I suggest you go back to one other roof type and then return to the two slope roof, where you'll get to start over. Now let's take a look at the settings we can adjust in the menu below the floor plan view. Again, of course, we can adjust the roof thickness. We can also adjust the inclination of the roof slopes, but both slopes will have the same inclination. We can adjust the median height, which will not affect the inclination, but the height of the external walls. And additionally, we can add an overhang or a ceiling, just like I've shown before. Now our roof is complete. In the next video, I will show you how to add windows and doors to your model. Thank you for watching this Velux Daylight Visualizer tutorial.